Hallelujah. That was awesome. Clap your hands for the Lord. The two hands are lifted. Lift your voice and begin to thank God for his love and his mercy. Nobody is here except for the grace of God. Yeah. Can I hear your voice adore and magnify? Oh! Give him praise. Zalaba. standing here, life is not easy for them. There are many people watching us. Father, life has not been smooth for the past four years. We stand here in awe of you to give you the adoration, the glory and favor. Our praise will never cease. But we will never miss the opportunity to tell that it has only been your grace, your mercy. Thank you. This morning I ask your hand of blessing and your favor upon the lives of your people. Speak in might, in power, in clarity, in revelation. I give you thanks. In Jesus precious name I rebuke the order of the enemy I silence the structure of the wicked let your word grow mightily and prevail in Jesus precious name Amen are you clapping?
Oh, somebody go ahead and clap your hands for the Lord. Give him praise and glory in his heart. Hallelujah. We are live on Sweet Melodies 94.3 in the city of Accra and all the sister stations across the nation, including Sweet Flow in Tamale. We are live in Cape Coast on Sweet Memories, live in Tamale on uh, Sweet Flow. I had mentioned that uh, we're live in Wa on Sweet Harmony 103.1. We're live in Bulga this morning on uh, Sweetheart 104.1 FM. We're also live in Sunyang on Sweet Reflections 98.3 FM. We are live on Vision 1 93.5 in Accra OT on 88.7. We are live on Onya Television, Amansan Television. Facebook, YouTube podcast. This is the W3 service. And W3 means word, worship, and wonders. My name is Kofi Odru. This is Alabasta International Ministry bringing you this live broadcast service. Going to be with you from now until we bring the curtain down. This I welcome everybody dearly. Today is Hosanna. Today is Palm Sunday. And I'm excited to welcome all of you in gospel. Can you give me some palm plants and palm fruits and you know yeah i i i this morning in my childhood days will be the morning uh, we will have a root march on the streets of abeka uh we did that for many years by now uh the songs are marching and singing uh you know oriba woyahu wedimu Wagbe me, Osiana, 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 Yemwensha, Oriba, Oyeho, Wedding, Oriba, Oyeho, Osiana, Obia Wanko, Ebi, we are Kobolo. Oriba wo yeho wedi Oriba wo yeho I love the others part O sia O sia na ye Hallelujah Um before I read scriptures uh for that regards or relate to Palm Sunday I'm excited to see all of you. Say amen. Now, John chapter 12, verses 20 and 21. John the 12th chapter. The 20th and 21st verses, the Bible said, there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of the side of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we seek, we require, we desire, we demand, we request to see Jesus. I haven't read you that. I will go ahead and read Luke chapter 21, verses number 34 through to 36. Luke, the 21st chapter. 34 to the 36 verses, the Bible said, Take it to yourselves. Leaves at any time, your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. And so that they come upon you on a worse, the Bible said for us as an heir. It shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. One of those things that shall come to pass is for parents to sell their own children. I mean sell them. Sell them for cash. Recently, a mother sell, sold a child at the Afram Plains for 300 Ghana cities. Modern day slavery is real. 300 Ghana cities. A child is sold. As I'm speaking to you right now, if you go to parts of Libya, People who are escaping the harshness of the Sahara region, trying to seek for greener pastures in Europe, they are being sold and they are mutated. 
cut them into pieces and their body parts are sold. So if you are looking for a fresh heart, pancreas, liver, kidneys, you can find some over there. A person can buy you and cut you into pieces. Slit your throat with a sharp blade and your blood will ooze out. I'm talking to you about the things that shall come to pass before we go to stand before the son of man. The Bible could not even define, bring a definition of those things. Since it was so vociferous and too intense to the point that the excruciating impact of what I'm talking about I'm, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to enter into a sphere. As a matter of fact, we are entering into a sphere where the whole generation becomes anti-God. Anti-God. Let's welcome on him. I'm mercy into the house. We miss you. Welcome back to Ghana. Hallelujah. And to God, anything that is God <laughs> is becoming extremely less popular. So the Bible was talking about in Matthew chapter number 24 when he was making these submissions in verse number 15 when he said, and when you see the abomination that makes desolate spoken by the prophet Daniel stand in the holy place, he that read it, or he that is giving attention to God's word, let him consider. The abomination of desolation Will not, will not be standing in any other place but the house of God. When you see the replacement of the glory of God, which is gold, it's been replaced with brass. And we are finding and trying to still present it as gold. The Bible said, he that is standing in the house of God should understand. You are living in the last days. Very, very crazy stuff that has happened. Soldiers have blocked the road in Sudan. And you know that Sudan has two leaders now. Pregnant woman is walking about and then uh, a militia man will say there is a bomb in your womb and we are here checking ammunition. The lady said there is no bomb. I am pregnant. The soldier says well let's check and see whether it is a bomb or you are pregnant. With a sharp blade they cut open a pregnant woman's womb and baby and intestines and everything comes out. In Yemen right now a baby can be snatched out of a mother, mother's hands and thrown into fire and the baby will burn to death. This is the same place where they are training insurgency. The young man that sat on the, that particular plane which was heading towards the United States of America. Listen to me, sweetheart. When I used to preach on Vision 1, I used to tell them, once you have the opportunity, listen to truth. Because very soon, you won't hear this on this radio station again. And that is true. You have an opportunity. 
And that opportunity is to come stand in the house of the Lord and listen to the pure word of God. Enjoy the atmosphere of the grace of God. Receive the power of his resurrection. That don't take for granted. Because we Christians have taken too many things for granted. Including the goodness of God, the grace of God, including the God who woke you up this morning, including the breath that is passing through your lungs right now. You take it for granted. You've taken for granted even waking up this morning. You feel it's normal. It's not. It's not normal. I'm telling you, there are people fighting for their lives in the ICU right now. And I'm telling you, you are not more than those people. It is God's grace and mercy like the beautiful woman sang this morning. Yeah, it's the grace and mercies of God that is keeping you. I'm telling you, it is not, it is not automatic. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have woken up this morning. Your children should not be alive this morning. The grace of God is keeping you. This nation should not be here. It is the help of God and the grace of God. And, and sometimes when we talk about this, you know, political activists will, you know, want to make claims that during our tenure, things are better. Drop it. As we are speaking right now, Ghana is on a grace cruise or grace cruise control. Grace, cruise, control. Ah. Your security is loose. You don't know. I'm telling you. Sometimes when even the president of Ghana is going to a function, honestly speaking, if I sit down and I look at even security flaws, it breaks my heart. We will not be standing nicely like this. I'm telling you. So wickedness is on the rampant. I am in the last days. I am not just a normal preacher preaching to a, a nice congregation. You are living in the last days. This is not the time, you know, where even the songstress and the minstrels and, and all these other great people are going to take this moment for granted. And so he made this, he made a submission in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 15. He made a submission and say, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but wise redeeming the times because the days in which you are living are evil then in verse number 70 word 4 be ye not unwise twice he is making that be not unwise this season don't be unwise he said it twice don't be unwise and foolish decisions are going to... Yesterday, I had the privilege of speaking to one of the hostels of... Uh, uh, what do you call the... You know, almost he said Dina Bear four times, so now I can't even tell. Uh, University of Technology of uh, something. But they mentioned something else to me yesterday. I had the privilege to share the gospel with them at their hostel. I just went there, you know, to share the gospel uh, every saturday i go on evangelism no speakers no microphones nothing and so i took my evangelism to you know who said house to house evangelism soul to soul door to door gate to gate is passed and who said don't broadcasting is over i have just started my souls are perishing and we are here we are here unconcerned Souls are going to hell, including some that are standing. And we look on unconcern. We have become sophisticated. We have become celebrity. We are afraid and shy, ashamed of the gospel. Paul said in Romans 1.16, I am not. I am not. If you are ashamed, I am not. Of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation to everybody who believes. And so I cannot meet you without talking about Jesus. The most important things must be asked. Are you saved? 
Are you born again? I mean, are you soundly born again? I'm not talking about this Ghanaian Christianity. Are you born again? Serious, are you born again? Is your name written in the book of life? If Jesus comes today, will you find a place in eternity with Christ? These are the most important things. Not we came to look at Kabastai, Achimota, Alumina. No. Drop it. Drop it. You are here to chase a girl. Wrong location. Wrong location. Wrong location. Hallelujah. Wrong location. And so, and so you know, I look interestingly, you know, in uh, uh, Luke chapter number 19, and uh, the Bible started talking from verse number one. He said, Jesus entered through and entered into Jericho. And whilst uh, the Bible said, and uh, there was a man by the name of Zacchaeus, let me uh, read that particular verse straight away so that we will not uh, be wasting your time. When you read um, carefully into verse number, let me go to verse number 41. The Bible said, and when he came nigh the city, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, if thou hast known even uh, at least to this very day the things that belong unto your peace, but now they are hid from your eyes. Behold, the days are coming Upon you, your enemies will cast you into a trench and compass you round about and uh, keep you on every side and, uh, and shall lay thee even to the ground and thy children within thee. And the Bible said, and they shall not leave one stone upon another because you, ne you didn't know the time of your visitation. Now when I go further and I am going to uh, do that uh, Matthew chapter 21 uh, and from verse number 1 the Bible talks about the story of Hosanna and when the, the, you may be seated whilst I am taking to my bring the palm bring the palm <clears throat> yeah I want a big one yesterday they, they reminded me that when we were kids we didn't just take this we look for nice flowers and then fix them nicely into it. And it was not loose like I'm holding it now. How many your time? You take their time and weave it nicely and look for nice flowers and fix them in it. And then when we start marching, it is not a joke. The Bible said that when they came nigh unto Jerusalem, and I have started Easter, my Easter has begun from Jerusalem to Gogota. On Friday, the Good Friday, coming Friday, we're having one joint service with all our branches and all our affiliates and all our friends, just one service of communion and uh, anointing and preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, you come miss it. 6 p.m. in the evening, all the branches will have their morning sessions. And then in the evening, we all come together for the Passover service. It's going to be an awesome moment in God's presence. Say amen. The Bible said that they came nigh unto Jerusalem and were come unto Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives. As a matter of fact, when we went to Israel, we went to this particular mount. We didn't climb the Mount of Olives though, but we looked at the mount whilst we were on, on route to Jerusalem. And uh, I saw this particular place. Then St. Jesus, his disciples uh, too, yeah, and saying unto them, go into the village which is over against you, and straight away the Bible said, you will find an ass tied and a colt with her. Lose them and bring them unto me. And the Bible said, and if any man or anybody asks you ought, say unto that person, the Lord has need of them. And straight away he will send them. The Bible said all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying tell ye the daughter of Zion behold your king 
sin is coming unto you meek and sitting upon an ass and a coat uh, and a coat the foul of an ass and then they went further and said the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them then in the seventh verse and brought the ass and the coat and put them uh, uh, they are close put the put on them put put on them they are clothes and they set jesus upon the donkey then in verse 8 the bible said a very great multitude spread their garments in the way others cut palm branches this one didn't say that but in the one in luke it said that from the trees and and strawed them in a way and the bible said and the multitudes that went before and that followed christ saying hosanna to the son of david blessed is he that cometh in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest and then in this verse and when he had come to jerusalem all the city was moved saying who is this in the 11 verse the bible said and the multitude said this is jesus prophet the prophet of nazareth of galilee in the 12 verse and jesus went into the temple and cast all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrown the tables of money changers and the seed of them that sold doves in the 13th verse possibly where i'm going to he said unto them it is written my house shall be called the house of prayer that you have made it a den of thieves my house shall be called a house of prayer but you have made it or turned it into the den of thieves but when i read luke chapter 19 in verse 40 was a similar statement i will want to bring out maybe let me start from verse 39 so it brings some meaning in verse 39 the bible said and some of the pharisees from among the multitude said unto jesus master rebuke your disciples in verse 40 and he answered and said unto them i tell you that if these hold their peace the stones will immediately cry out normally when we quote the scripture we will say things like if these remain silent i will command the stones to praise me but it is never so he said if these i tell you if if they hold their peace the stones will immediately cry out so hosanna is happening everybody is celebrating hosanna is an exclamation of bliss and excitement and joy you're born to say, you're born to say, be, be like that is how Hosanna simply means. It's an exclamation of joy and rejoicing celebration. All hail to the king. They put the king on a colt or a donkey and they rode celebrating Jesus of Nazareth, king of kings, lord of laws, from the village of Bethphage and they were going to Jerusalem. Now, I even realized that this particular year, Easter has been very quiet. Extremely quiet. Even that is even quiet. I have the audacity to say that. Yeah. Very quiet. I can't tell. Maybe I'm a two ashida. But seriously speaking, I am realizing that everything that concerns Christ and his kingdom, his impact, his power, his resurrection, his message, his gospel has been attacked in recent time. The attack is so vehement. To the point that even the Hosanna, the people want to quench it. Keep the Hosanna out. Now in England, when it's Christmas, you are forbidden to even say Merry Christmas. You should rather say Happy Holiday. If you are a nurse or a doctor and you try to witness to a 
patient in the hospital who is dying and the patient says, please lead me to Christ. You will lose your license. They will see that as an imposition of your faith on another. And this is why children have the right in America to divorce their parents. They can go to court and say, you are no more my mother. And the court will grant it. A child will wake up in the morning and say, I feel like I'm not a human being, I am a goat. And a law will gazette and validate that from henceforth, you are no human, you are a goat. And then the human being will dress like a goat walking in town. And you have no right to question that person. And so if Kofi Odro was in certain countries, there was no tendency that he could preach the way he's preaching. Because we have seen preachers attacked on the streets of London and the streets of Birmingham. An old preacher was hit with a club. While he was bleeding, he was still preaching the gospel. Repent, repent. Birmingham, repent. Christ is coming again. The judgment of God is upon you. Repent, run for your life. What offense does that cause? So when I read the scripture and I tell you that I want to see Jesus, it's not like I want to visibly or visually see Christ. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Love like Jesus. Talk like Jesus. Preach like Jesus. If I am a pastor, I want to lead like Jesus. If I'm a politician, I want to serve like Jesus. Yeah. You know the way the way uh, sometimes people are so hurt and they say things that after all I did for you, this is how you paid me. That means that when you were doing it, you were expecting something back. But Jesus loves and no strings are attached. Jesus gives and he does not expect anything from you jesus honor he loves and that's not the bible said in romans chapter 5 verse number 8 whilst we were yet sinners christ died for you in other words he was not expecting anything back this is why there are so many hurts and offenses in the house of God. When my father died, they didn't come. When my mother died, it is nice and good when your father died for all of us to come and stand with you. But my darling, this is not why you came here. The main reason is not for us to follow you when your mother dies. You have diverted from your original purpose. Don't be deceived. Because of pettiness. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking it to Hosanna. It's going to Hosanna. God has graced people. And they are rather hearing Hosanna. They have the privilege to be singing Hosanna. Hallelujah to the son of God. Blesses he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They are singing. Then the preachers, the Pharisees, the preachers, the prophets, the apostles, bishops, the cardinals came and said, command your disciples to shut up. Tell your disciples to keep quiet. And then Jesus boldly tells them that if these one keep quiet, stones shall praise me. Stones. And this morning, Ohima, I will use the opportunity to tell not only Alabaster, the body of Christ and Ghana, when God gives you an opportunity and you throw it away in a Pharisaic way, stones will take your place. And when he says stones, he didn't mean stones literally. Metaphorically, he is talking about people who are less, pre less privileged, less qualified, less eligible, who are less trained, less beautiful, less elegant, less wise, would take your place. They would take, this is why I think it's in Luke 19 verse 13 or 14. The Bible was talking about occupy till I come. Occupy. Okay. Take, take your position. Take, remain in your position. Jesus said, remain in your position until I come. Occupy. 
The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, when the anger of a ruler runs against you, don't leave your place. Don't leave your place. I see when you are in the shed, that and God led you, led you into his presence. Especially, let me use Alabaster for example. God led you into his presence and said, this is the place. Remain here. Remain here. Hear truth. Hear grace. Be polished. Be refined. Remain in here and you allow somebody to step on your food and offend you and the offense you see this is why i'm talking about jesus there is no place in the gospels that anybody offended jesus never look at the offensive words they said he cast you know demons with Beelzebub, the prince of demons jesus was not offended Last Wednesday, when we were having the service, the service on uh, Forest and Bible Kessie, and I was preaching, the Bible, you know, was talking about, and Jesus was preaching like I'm doing right now, and four friends removed the roofing sheet of the building, broke the ceiling, and started lowering their friend. And whilst they were doing all that, boo -boo 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 -boo, Jesus never shifted his attention. It was on the preacher focus the focus is just i mean I, I look at the way you know and, and you realize that in life mama lizzie can talk about mom, so I know mama comfort just this statement can make me change my attitude towards mama comfort and this is how so many of us have been deceived you move a prayer christmas you must say you what dressing nicely still holding the bible but with christmas some i say and once in a fruit the dead flies have caused the oil of apothecary to stink ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse number one somebody have talked you out of your position i am sad for you sad for you you have the courage and the nerve to sit in the house of the lord and said you know me i will not play the drums again the devil bewitched you I am this bewitchment. This was what the Bible was talking about in the book of Galatians. Oh, foolish Galatians. Who have bewitched you? Galatians chapter 3. Who have bewitched you? Who, who, who said to you that you began in the spirit and ended in the flesh? Who, who, who bewitched you? And bewitchment is a very strong word for Bible to even use. And he was not using it for unbelievers and infidels. He was using it for the believers. Who have bewitched him to the point that what they are sorry them will be bana ubun and ichi. Ah, this is too sad. And you're then now real he say, How come you have fallen this way? You are sitting in the house of God, and you can look in the eyes of somebody and say nasty things, and when the people lift their song, you lift your hands. You are very interested. Let me give you a very, you know, for example, you know the way this lady can go about sometimes saying some noise, noisy, noisy amens. My good friend, good to see you. In every church, there are some people like that. Many years ago, whilst Bishop Interfol was preaching at Collegono Lighthouse Chapel, Bishop Interfo was preaching. There was a lady seated on the front. And whilst Bishop Interfo was preaching, the, the, the lady, you know, was screaming, Oshia, 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 Sanile, Sanikakale, Oshia, Oshia, Jemo, Jemo, Jemo. And, and, and I, thought, I thought that it was too much until I went to Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry, CEM. Rehoboth Temple, and I met a crazier woman. The preacher is preaching, and the lady jumped. Jesus, you have sent us a preacher. We will hear the word. We will, this one is not sitting down. This one is standing. Then I went to Solid Rock Chapel. Mama Chrissy went to Adar for a prophetic uh, uh, all night last Friday. Then I met, uh, I met uh, a woman that calls herself the church is good whilst mama is preaching she gets up and she comes from my hometown my own nekuma she will go like mama is preaching mama is preaching black woman preached to me oh the church is good the church is good if you are not careful 
you are going to turn a gossip to this person to the point that you are going to forget why you came here and begin to talk nonsense about this woman boy we are born in some dodo and this are born some now born some but that is not why you are here focus so because if these ones keep quiet stones And you are afraid, you are afraid, sister. <laughs> afraid, sister. I bet you my man is not here. Tia! Wait here. Many people have shifted from why they came to church. You have shifted. I'm telling you. You came to work on your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, now you are making certain claims. You know, they didn't call me to check up on me. It's been four weeks I didn't come to church. And nobody, it means that nobody cares. My darling, look at the people that are here. The people that are coming to the next service. At least Alabaster is 3,000 in number. If we cannot check up on everybody, it doesn't mean you are not loved. You, you know, you have been serving God for 13, 15 years. It's time to grow. Grow up. Grow up. So Jesus is looking at these guys, Pharisees. You are here and you are asking people to shut up and the house is for praise. If these keep quiet, stones will do the job. Be careful God does not take his grace away from you. Be careful his hand does not leave you. There are things that we do and it touches the heart of God. Just like, just like Saul's daughter. Michelle dancing before the ark. No, David dancing before the ark, and Michelle is standing on a sign. And David is dancing with the daughters of Zion. And the Bible, the Bible said, and she despised him in her heart. She didn't say it to in her heart. And the Lord cast her womb. Because of Komano. I'm telling you, it is not even out of your mouth, it's still in your heart. And God has cursed your womb. I'm telling you, many people are struggling, no blessing to show for. You are too bitter, too offended. I mean, if you want to be like Jesus, there is no bitterness in Christ. There is, I mean, look at the way little things, bitterness. I don't know my year we the honor of the the end of the And the bitterness starts. The bitterness starts. And, and bitterness can drive people. Ah, bitterness. It can, I'm telling you, bitterness can drive you mad. Bitterness is what has caused so called pastors. To higher tax. Bitterness is doing that. A preacher can send tax boys. Go and beat this person. Ah, you are on your way to hell. You are on your way to hell. Pettiness. Bitterness. Pain. Pain. Offenses. Look at the way they went to Jerusalem. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Yeah, everybody is celebrating. Only Pharisees are angry. Everybody is happy. There are Pharisees in the pulpit. Oh God, help me! Pharisees in the pulpit. We are Omobe mafia. I'm telling you. Hey. There are pastors and they are a group in Ghana. We are Omobe Mafia. They are Pharisees. Onu kufi udru no ba adabe. Mom blocking the radio station. Block him here. And my name kwa. I have stop him here. These are Pharisees. Yeah, <laughs> Pharisees. Pharisees can do that. I'm telling you, serious. I mean. 
Ohima, Ohima can understand this very better. You know, when, when, when people begin to mafia you, they can, they can call a record label. They can call a radio station. They can, de they can report your page on social media. They can do automated reporting. This is a threat. Take him off. Would page is a senior verified and can you delete that? I'm telling you, they will mafia you. And mafias are also in church. <laughs> there is a young man who came to me recently. His father used to be a great pastor in this country. His father is now dead. The young man now is pastoring the church with his mother. Amazing young man. Then I asked him, what happened to your dad? He said he was poisoned. A pastor was poisoned. They say, baby, I'm not doing no, no. You can poison a man of God. And the poison didn't kill the man of God instantly. It took a month. Papa ni fimo jazu. Sweetie, I'm telling you, bitterness can drive people crazy. I'm telling you, look at the way you are struggling with your ex. You will suffer. You will suffer. Christians don't talk like that. Christ, Christ like mm -mm. they don't talk like that. You see the way Pastor Steve is serving faithfully. I invited him many years ago when he came from Cape Coast. He has seven, he's serving amazingly. He does this out of his heart. Let's say that I come this morning and say, Pastor Steve, you've been doing this beautifully. Now leave the piano. Go to Sunday school. Don't be offended. If you are in Christ, you didn't come here to play piano. You came here to serve God. So if they gave you opportunity to play piano, that is an addition. Focus on why you are in the house. And let's stop cursing people. I have cursed your womb. I have cursed your leg. I have cursed your fingernails. I have stopped your nonsense. No, that is not Jesus. That is not Christ. You have got, you are, well, what audacity do you have to curse anybody? What audacity do you have? The, the souls, Akira no anya mesi yanko chiyomo no. Omo na wo curse yo no. You are very interested. The Lord is not interested and does not take pleasure in the death of a sinner. I'm telling you. God is interested in the sinner. This is all what our game is all about. So, I mean, when I went to, you know, the place yesterday and I was telling them that, guys, me, if you are looking for one person who is praying for Kwame Eugene's speedy recovery, it's me. I am praying that God will lift up Kwame Eugene, heal him miraculously because his soul is very important to God. I'm telling you, my church people will be, oh, uh, you know, Christ. So what? I am here to go for somebody. You know, if Kwame Eugene stands here and sing right now, he will sing better than all our singers. Uh, he will sing better. He will sing better than all our singers. Yeah. He is a great worshiper. I don't know why you are too hard on others. I don't know why you are so hypocritical. You know, look at the skirt she's wearing. Look at the dress she's wearing. Look at the kababi or the abasa. Stop it! And let the Hosanna continue. Hosanna in the highest. Don't tell us to stop them. Because if we do stones, we'll cry out. The way you used to sing Hosanna to your husband, to your wife, to your fiancé, to your wife. It was Hosanna until bitterness got into your heart. I'm telling you. 
I met a couple in London, sweet people. They were so they are the lady is so tall, taller than me, and the man is taller than me. They are tall people. And their love was beautiful. In the morning, the man has a night shift. So when he comes back, he will go to the train station and go and see the lady off to work. And then when the man is coming, the lady also, it was beautiful. The man comes home, takes off his shoes. The lady will massage his feet nicely, beautifully. One day they fought and bitterness started. The first fight was a lady pulled a knife. The second fight, the lady pulled the gun. The police came in. And then the lady reported bitterness. The lady reported the gentleman to the police. Then to immigration. Then to his workplace. He lost his job. The immigration were after him and the police were after him. He lived in England like a fugitive. Bitterness. Pain. But the sad thing is that it, in bitterness, we are still praying in tongues. We are mad people. Wait a second. We are mad people. Yeah. Because Matthew 5 8, the Bible said, Blessed are the pure in heart. They are the people that when they seek God, they will find God. You know, never sit in a, you know, in a family and be so bitter. Come to church. Somebody can look at an ocean. Momo Stop it. Bitterness corrupts a pure spirit. Stop it. I'm telling you. You know when, when it get on, I'm telling you, judgment will begin from church. God will begin with us. He will begin with us, the preachers. Yeah, how we use God's money, how we use God's people, how we invested in your well-being. It will begin with us. I'm seriously telling you. Judgment will begin from the house of God. They can speak very, very dirty about you. When they see you, they smile. Hello. The God who sees, who sees conscience and motives was the Uja. And so whilst I close the service, Pastor Steve, I will love, you know, he would, the moment they said, Hosanna, Pharisees, said, stop it! Everybody's happy except the Pharisees. Somebody's having their wedding just like Wanda is married to this lovely lady. Now we'll be beautiful. Instead of celebrating them, they ask questions like, oh God, so when? No, that is not the right time for your question. Be joyful with them who are joyful and cry or mourn with them who are mourning. Yeah. Everybody is happy when you buy a car except somebody. Except somebody. Hosanna in the highest Pharisee for both. Oh, him and me, you see, you are a very amazing leader. All your investment, me, me, no, we'll blow that for camera. You see the way you are quietly doing your things. Quietly. That is how it goes. Pharisee, Fumu, say, Kim. Now, Mafia, understand. Yeah. Pharisee, Fumu. You don't tell Pharisee, say, Matwasa, say, me see that. No. Come on, you too. You see who that. Be me now, be banna. O she shon. Tidia me now. Yeah. Hosanna. Everybody is rejoicing. Pharisees are angry. They are telling Jesus, Rebuke your disciples and let them keep quiet. Hosanna, na se chire sen ye peje ura de ye mane sono e ye ubi ya. And Ghana ye yadi ya e tosu number two e no no. Our our disease number one, infirmity number one of Ghana e jamai. Two, this one and number three nyako. Ufriwa na uba inu abroad. 
Number two, Chenebo, say in the Fanish from that is number two. Fanish from say in the day. Would that money be signed, ma'am? Miss a ma'am, me didn't in the area, you day as a Kawanu Tumnery. Yeah, we are saying. Yeah. The little lamb asks the mother, a she, she, or you, why are we, why, why are we eating this grass? The mother says, keep quiet and keep chewing. We are only causing a havoc and a mess. Mungo Sonye. Parasif, Edumano, Resen. Onyahim Frim, Ubian Tianaka, but over sale. Onyahim Frim. If I were you, mm, if I were you, I would keep the circle very small. My inner circle will be very small. You know, sometimes when I tell, you know, in our uh, uh, open forum last week, some people were telling me that some of the reasons why, you know, people do not even want to be friendly is because um, um, they, they feel like you told them that when you close, take your bag and go, oh yes, I'm your pastor. Footballer came from London to play for Black Stars and was, he said, I'm just trying to be nice to the ladies. Nay, she be an air. He had stroke. We didn't hear of him anymore. Lead in England with stroke and in that infirmity, he died. As I'm speaking to you, he is buried. Be nice, but don't cross the boundary. Because not all, Jesus said, a man's foes or enemies are going to be the people that are in his own household. Family. Pharisee, for Pharisee. Tell them to keep quiet. Jesus said, if these keep quiet, stones will cry out immediately. And so, all this time, I'm telling you, take bitterness and all this pettiness. Christ sent you here to work on your salvation, develop yourself, polish yourself, refine yourself. That is why he sent you here. You came here and you have joined a gang. Today, we won't go to the church. Okay. Ten of you. Let's say that the Lord wants to bless me just like he did to Elijah. He said, I have commanded the ravens to feed you at the brook Cherith. Go meet the ravens there. As long as Elijah connects to the brook, blessing is coming. As long as Elijah disconnects from brook, he will miss the provision because the provision is coming to the brook. Now, this is the revelation. Why will you leave a position God gave you? Why will you leave a gift God gave you? You sing and want to say, I won't sing anymore. You won't sing anymore, says he. There are people who are even, oh, look at the word. Comfort and not sang until her death. Bishop Michael Osebo who sang before, until her is death. There are people who became old people, old, and they were still in their assignment. Our business is that we feel like somebody is selling rice, then we leave our cassava and go and sell rice. Where is focus? As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children. So who is leading you? Pressure of the people, friends and peers, who is leading you? Oh God. You are here working on eternal life. You didn't come to joke. Why have you become this canal? Canal. Everything is selfish. Me, 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 me. When is it going to be somebody else? They hurt me. They've insulted me. They've read that they bruised me. They, me, me, me. When is it going to be somebody else? Maturity, maturity, maturity. And who said you will carry the cross of Christ without pain, without sacrifice? Suffering is part of Christianity. Suffering is part of Christianity. This is why the Bible said in Philippians chapter 3, 
Verse 10, he said, you know, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of suffering. Suffering. You be do what them. In the panu be tears. Take it. I'm, I'm telling the gospel. Hosanna! But Pharisees are angry. Pharisees are you very angry. And you feel it's only in church. Oh, him I is not. Go to government and go and see Pharisees. Pharisees. There are more be small position Pharisees. And I have always told you that if you have this microphone and I have the same microphone and you don't like yours, you want mine. It's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. You have a wife. I have a wife. You don't want your wife. You want my wife. It's witchcraft. You have a land. I have a land. You are encroaching into mine. It's witchcraft. Yeah. The move is small position. A young man like that. They gave him a small position. His job was so. He loved his job. He didn't pay much. But he was doing it diligently. Somebody came from above. And then lock changes the lock to his office door. He said that order from above. Who is that above? Find a friend above. So how above no Bonnie didn't hear me. A brand tiny the why with a why with a why with a who Tim. It's just and and you know what? When they locked the door, nobody did his job till he died. And nobody is doing this job talk. They just wanted you out or off. That's all. So the enemy or the thief cometh not. But for to steal, kill, and destroy. But I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I'm talking about Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I remind you before I close, you are still pilgrims and strangers. All things are vanity. Thank God for your Mercedes, your BMW, your Land Cruiser, your Range Rover, and your Rita. I'm, yeah, it would take somebody that, has, that is filled with the Holy Spirit and understand the truth of God's word to say this. People rather will say, you know, he's driving a Range Rover. Hey, then uh, let the ushers find a nice. No, no, no. Hey, you and I'm not just saying it. I'm quoting a, word, a scripture. First Peter chapter number, number one and verse number 24. The Bible makes a solid reiteration. He, sa he said, all flesh is grass and all the glory of man is like the flower of the grass. The, the grass will wither. The, the grass will wither and the flower will fall away. And I see people fighting over things, position, fame. It's interesting. It will fade off. It will fade off. The cars will not matter anymore. Very soon. <laughs> MP, where we? we? Me ye send the wokeni sofi any ne ma will use the things that are rightfully theirs as an inheritance. Car na will no way use is packed. The day they use a red band to tie his chair at parliament, it spoke a lot to me. Even your position, you will leave it behind. You will carry nothing. You came empty. When you were coming, you were not wearing a Versace and a Tom Ford. You came naked. And naked, you will return. So why don't you set your affections on things above? Colossians chapter 3 from verse number 1. Where Christ is seated. Why? Why, why don't you set your affections on things above? I'm talking about eternal value. Eternal value. As for wealth, when righteousness becomes a lifestyle, breakthroughs becomes automatic. The Lord will bless you. 
Unyame, obishirawu. I'm telling you, this week you are going to see evidence of God's blessing. Doors will open for you. Heaven will open for you. The Lord will be gracious unto you. But I'm, talk, I'm drawing your attention to your eternal value. Everything earthly, it will pass away. I'm telling you. Suit you, I shall not pay. In the next 10 years, if you wear the same suit, people will laugh at you. I can. I can. It's gone. As I close this, you see, this is a service of reflection. Sit down and reminisce life. Think of life. Let go, let go. Go home and forgive them. Even if they have not apologized. Let go, release them from your heart. Do not be guilty of the blood of any. You are not guilty of anybody's blood. I'm telling you. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. I was telling the day, I said the moment anybody receives a breakthrough, people are praying that you fail. Who break through never know. Others are wishing that you will fail. The scripture bar are closed. And when they said Hosanna in Hyatt, Parasee 4 came and tell Jesus Master, rebuke your disciples. And Jesus said unto them, I tell you that if they should hold their peace, the stones. The stone. Well, we are stone a preacher no pay because me I'm a rebel woman says of if I look at myself, say you can see that a machine suit to them. I said I'm casa cry no man says of Grace and mercy located me. What do you say? People are praying. That you think. He said the stones will immediately cry out. Gideon, when he came from the farm and he was angry, Esau did not care about the birthright. So he said to his brother, the pottage and let me eat and let my soul be refreshed. What is a better? But the one and the needle was ready to take the better. God will give you an opportunity and opportunity will be like this young lady holding this camera and serving in the house of God and will be in our ways with the idea where you this is your better right. Would you jahore? All the doors that made you close it. That is your birth. Birth right in the Quran. Then you be be a you be to masum. Um peni ni ti adi ano ne kai. Inti ke dru ono ko beka se me ano me peni no. But he couldn't say it because God is the judge. He couldn't say. It. Stand to your feet. Let us pray. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the heart. But I see if one's wake up. Hosanna. Everybody is singing Hosanna. But I see if we wake up. It is a say, a dance here power. And it's wound to me. Who are dancing you? I wound to me. Because for I see if one. Abu Alanga. What does he, God has done some beautiful stuff for you. You went to the States and somebody blessed you. $200,000. You want to testify. But a man for whom you say 200, I'll be do a side. Oh. But now more 200, I'll be do a side. <laughs> Uzana. <laughs> Do you know that as we are speaking right now, the police is investigating 
a murder case that is into the house of the great political icon, Professor Albert Edubuahe. One of his sons, amazing God, was attacked in his house. His wife was harassed and the gentleman was killed. Wow. Bibi Timia sorry and go into somebody's house and kill the person in Ghana. Sister Shon Wei. Shon Wei. May the Lord protect you from all blatant demonic assault. I'm telling you. Hosanna but Pharasi for Buefu. I'm telling you, we went to visit one of our fathers in the Lord and his wife, great woman of God. She knows me, but the first time she was seeing me in person. The woman, the woman came out. She said to me, Kofi, be very careful. People are looking for your blood. And I know when God is speaking, people are looking for your blood. Be careful. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's Hosanna. I want to pray for Ghana in an, our electionary year. And talking about Ghana, let me congratulate the black princesses for winning gold in the All-African Games for Ghana. And congratulate the Ghana's under-21 team for also winning gold. Eja. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, poor and sorry, could I say how? Yeah, oh, my life, mom. We move by, yeah, nah, yeah, pa. Oh, my gold. If won the tournament, hosted and we won. Young girls playing their heart out for themselves and for their nation. And yeah, yeah, no. I dream fee, I dream fee. Hallelujah. Everybody, first of all, I will Hosanna simply means praise. We will want to thank God from January till now that God has been faithful to you. Sweetie, this year has not gone too far, but the things that have happened negatively are unbelievable. I want to ask you to lift your voice and thank the Lord. Not for only you, but for your children. Yeah. Your children, your grandchildren. I want to thank God for your spouse. That God's mercy is still keeping you. Hosanna in highest. Lift your voice just for one minute. Somebody wants to thank the Lord. Ghana, I give God the glory for you. Mm, that God has been kind to you. Despite our flaws, the faithfulness of God is still with us. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your people standing here. They are children. They are children. Thank you. I'm grateful. I give you the thanks, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' precious name, you are worthy of all the honor. Glory to God in highest. You don't know Christ as Savior. This morning will be the right time. The right hand on your heart. Somebody say, dear Jesus, forgive a sinner like me. Wash me in your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. This morning, I, I receive eternal life 
into my spirit. I am born again. I'm a child of God. Father, I pray that you will honor your children in Jesus' precious name. Let's pray for our country for just 30 seconds. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. With all my strength and with all my heart. through the blood and the toil of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. Can you stretch your hands on Ghana's flag on the altar of God? And I want to, for only 30 seconds, pray for our country. This is an electioneering year. And the same God that have kept this nation from the first republic to the fourth republic. Fourth republic running almost 30 years now. By the grace of God, the Lord has kept us. We are praying that this election will be characterized with his grace, his love, his peace, his protection. The Lord will watch over his people. Evil will not come near us. Businesses will be protected as, as well as lives. May the Lord be gracious to his people. We pray for the president of Ghana. His Excellency, we pray that the Lord will protect you and help you to finish well. We pray for the first family and the people of Ghana. And we pray that God will cause us to know that righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen. Be gracious, Lord. In Jesus' name. You never made a promise that the journey will be easy. Your grace and mercy has brought me thus far. Your grace and mercy is all your grace and mercy draw more song draw more song draw more song can oh mama not your grace and mercy has brought me thus far. Your grace and mercy is what I need. Your grace and mercy has brought me. Before I sign off from all of us from Alabaster International Ministry, Thank you for being part of this service. The Lord bless you. We love you. And uh, remain blessed. Please watch yourself. There are too many danger, dangers and snares out there. Watch yourself and may the Lord protect you. You want to join us for our offerings? It's the details are on your screen. For those of you listening on radio, 059 That's 059 And also... I would love you to know that Easter Friday we're having our joint Passover service. Don't mess it. The Lord will bless you. Tuesday, as Bible study, we're going to be here and uh, Forest and Bible Cassia is on Wednesday. The Lord continue to honor you. It was at Bishop Ajinasari's birthday three days ago. Papa, happy birthday. You are just amazing. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. We celebrate an icon and an example like you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Uh, today, I'm not going to, you may be seated. I'm not going to sign off in me immediately. Um, I will, uh, the lady was going to sing, but Ohima is here. And so, Ohima, just one, one line. Uh, that, that <laughs> come on, come on. Lady Nidio Tawasipa.
Professor Aba, I was a student at Tenasi. <laughs> Lady Noway, please come. Onya mi egwa ma ono ni enkwa nchi refu odiye bedu kro Onya mi egwa ma ono ni enkwa nchi refu no odiye bedu kro So refia yereko Rofu frunimu Baby a wet deno Yereko Rofu frunimu Epia Onyamie Kwama Onyamie kwa Chirefu Onyamie Onyamie kwa Onyamie kwa Onyamie kwa Chirefu Mama, Yareko, oh, Fufu, Nimu, Yareko, oh, Fufu, Nimu, Bini Abama, oh, Yamia, Mama, Adonia, Come on, come on. 
anytime there is worship, my father smiles. <laughs> anytime he is so satisfied. There are the one nothing to me in some way. Oh. Baby, I am wanting to be drawn. Or to me, Bosso. Yada was so rough. Why a bit of dog? I was said to have been here by your one woman. Yadi, a whole group in the form. But you understand us. You always understand us. And with all our filthy minds, oh God, you still love us. So what be in you are ya? Be your machine. What's up, Mamma Mosia? Me to me, yes, Abda. At the sound of our voice, sugar. We want to say thank you. Thank you for yesterday night. Thank you for last week, oh God. Thank you. From January up to now, oh God. You were there when nobody was there. They rejected us, oh God. But you came in at the right time. What can we say, oh God? We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful for our children. And I you will to me. Say
Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. He na na, he na na, only where I He na na, he na na, only where My mother was celebrating 80 years old. Today, she has decided to come and thank the Lord and fellowship with us on on the second in the second service. Um, when we went to we, she said she doesn't want a, a birthday party, so we had a little morning devotion to thank God for. I invited a few of my friends, uh, a choral group, to come and sing for her. And then there was a young man. This guy was in the Presbyterian Church Choir. I knew him, one of the amazing guys. The guy started dancing, dancing, dancing. So my mom called him and said, Wago, who did you need to be an angel? I said, ma. I let the food be. At a point, my mom was to, wanted to stop her, him. And then my mom whispered a story to me that they traveled the previous week to a farm place while they were returning. They had van nearly fell into the ditch, the valley, the Quell Mountain Valley. They had an accident on the mountain. And while their car was descending into the cleft, while the person saw them, he drove his car full speed from the opposite direction to block them from going into the cleft. <laughs> who who would want to do that? I mean, with your car intentionally trying to hit another car damage both cars to save lives. Who would want to do that? Because the tendency that you trying to block them, both of you are going is 100%. You can't tell the weight. And this guy said, forget about food. He danced and danced and danced and danced. And then he whispered to me, he said, I could have been in the mortuary now. So maybe you don't understand what just happened. Hey! Inana, inana, oliwa. Inana, inana. I thank God for you, your family, especially your children. I have thought about the young Gadubuan thing. His house is gated, automated gated, electric, electric fence, cameras. How did the people get there? How did they get in? Harassed his wife and kill this guy. How? 
If the Lord does not watch the heart, they that watch, they do so, but in vain. Pick up your thanksgiving offering. Now, guys, thank you for joining us. Connecting the second service. When righteousness becomes a lifestyle, the breakthroughs become systematic. Stay blessed. Two, Tell them the truth. Remember why now tell them it's not a blessing to live a promiscuous life. Tell them. Tell them it's not a blessing when you don't talk to your wife and you chat with girls. Tell them it's not a blessing. Chatting with girls you don't know. Chinese girls, Indian girls, they come on your profile and it's girls, strange girls. We are not Tambabro, we shall be Papa. We are, we are, we shall be Papa. For judgment to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality. The house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness. The house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives. The house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't fear God in the house of God have been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin, iniquity, transgression, and wickedness, the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling with the standards of God. The house of God has now turned into the place where the ridicule, the holy things like speaking in tongues and the Holy Ghost, the content of the gospel for Israel have been thrown away. We have now gone into motivational speaking and political, you know, rhetoric. There, the house of God have been destroyed and displaced. The house of God. There, the house of God. The time has come for judgment to be house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we show 